Hello, yoga community. Welcome, welcome. My name is Mary Angeline, and you have arrived to our 30 minute intermediate advanced um, creative flow classes. So I have had a request, which I'm really excited about. Thank you um, for requesting. I do love as many requests as I can get. It, it keeps me creative and motivated and um, yeah, just it really helps me find new ways to move and new pathways, so thank you. This request has been for internal rotation, so that's what we're gonna work today. Um, so let's see what happens. I have a love for internal rotation, but my hips are, you know, a little, they struggle a little sometimes. So let's give it a go. Um, onto our backs, please, to start. Lie down. Let's start with the fallen bridge. So we're getting right into those internals. Um, knees knock in, feet widen, hands can rest on the belly. And just close the eyes. We'll be here for a moment, really settling into breath to body, saying hello to our hips and preparing them for what's to come next. If there is a specific intention you'd like to integrate, now is a beautiful time to do that. And I just like to add the intention of kind of unlocking our creativity, unlocking our flow, unlocking a space to be open to what's to come next. So I guess that's a little, a little a lot, right? A lot of intention there. And let's breathe it in. And breathe it out. Begin to blink your eyes open. Let your arms rest by your sides, whether palms are up or cactus with palms up. Open the knees up towards the sky, but keep the feet wide and walk the knees left to right a few times. So we're going <clears throat> back and forth, side to side. One leg's an external, the other leg's internal. Just bringing some movement in. Letting the knees fall over to the left now. Keep it there. Really focus on dropping the right knee down towards the ground. Pulling the belly in. Already feeling that stretch through that outer right hip. Bring it back through center and over to your right. Drop the right knee down. Drop the left knee down. Focus on guiding that left knee towards the mat. Being careful that you're not letting the left hip pop up too much. Bringing it back to center. <clears throat> forearms down to the ground. Prop yourself up onto your forearms. Same thing, rock those knees side to side. We're just elevating a little bit more than what we did earlier. Next time your knees are to the left, hold there. This time I'd like you to place your left foot on your right knee and guide that knee down towards the ground. Watch that you're not sinking into the shoulders. So just warming up the hips here, warming up the legs. Nice gentle movement. Release the left foot down. Bring the knees to center over to the right. This time right foot on left knee, drop it down. Slow and steady breath. And bring it back to center. Prop yourself now onto your palms so you're all the way up. Walk those knees left, right, a few times. Again, we're not sinking into the shoulders, keeping the strength of our arms to lift out of those shoulders. Next time your knees fall to the left, we'll pause there. Place the left foot on top of that thigh. Lift yourself up and fold forward just a little bit. Release your hands behind you, release the left foot, knees through center over to the right, right foot on left thigh, lift yourself up, fold forward just a bit. And bring it back up. Center, legs straighten out, flex the feet, reach the arms, sit up tall. Just a simple, gentle fold for a moment, saying hello to our hamstrings and our calves. Hello to our back body. This 
slide your hands back. Bend your knees, plant your hands to the top of the mat. Forward fold, halfway lift on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Rise to stand, deep breath in. Hands to heart center, just three rounds of sun A just to build some heat in the body. So inhale, arms high, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga, hop or step. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Heels high, inhale. Move forward, exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, dive it right back down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, heels high. Exhale, move forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Heels up. Move forward. Half lift. And fold. Rise to stand. Hands to heart. Close the eyes. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more in. One more out. Open your feet hip distance. Open their eyes if you haven't already. Bring your hands to your hips. Click your heels out. Knock your knees together like you would do for a fallen bridge. Knees touching, feet turned out, or excuse me, toes toward in like a pigeon toed. Heels out. Bend your knees, hands down to your thighs. Feel the compression, hip bones towards quads. Then drop the hands down, let the head be heavy. Keep those knees and thighs together. Round up the spine. As you straighten the legs, get the heels back to neutral, parallel. Reach your arms up, take a breath in. Exhale, hands around the right shin, pull that right shin in towards the chest. One-legged mountain. Take your left hand to the outside of that right leg. Pull the knee across the body. Right arm behind you. Okay, so we're drawing the knee across the body, reaching the right arm back. Bring your hands to heart center as you do. Right knee touches down, low lunge. Hips pull back. Feel a stretch through the quadricep, through the hip flexor. Take one more breath in. As you exhale, hands to the mat. Turn the right toes out to the side. Sit down. A little cow face pose. We're here for just a moment. Unwind back to your low lunge. Into crescent lunge. Straighten the leg. Reach the arms up. Hands to the mat. Step forward. Forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Fold, exhale. Heels out, toes in, pigeon toe. Knees bend. Round up the spine, all the way up to standing. Once you come to standing, straighten the legs, sweep the arms up. Left knee hugs in, hands around the shins, pull that knee as tight up towards your underarm as possible. Right hand goes to the outside of that left knee. Draw the knee across the body. As you do, left arm goes out. So we're crossing our midline with that left knee. Bring it back to center, hands to heart. Left knee taps down, low lunge. Pause here. Hands to the mat, left foot moves to the left so that you can sit down, cow fakes, legs, we're here for a really short amount of time. Unwind yourself back to your low lunge. Crescent lunge, rise on up. 
Hands to the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Heels out, toes in, knees touch. Round all the way up. Straighten the legs, come back to parallel, sweep your arms high. Hands to heart center. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Arms up, gaze up. Forward fold, dive it down. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Send the right leg up towards the sky. Bend your knee and start to circle that leg. Nice big circles with the knee. Reverse the circle. Straighten the leg up. Step the foot forward. Skandasana. Open yourself over to the left. Hands to heart center. You can do this with the hands down if you need to. Put a fire up under that belly, under the inner thighs. Lift yourself up a little bit. Lift yourself up even higher. Drop the right knee to the ground facing the back of your mat. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Now continue to twist. You're gonna to twist towards your left. Bring your hands to the ground. Take your right foot out behind you so you're rotating yourself over to your left. The right foot is following the line of your right knee. Unwind it back to center. Bring your hands to your heart. Bend your left knee. Lunge right into pigeon. Pigeon, bend your back knee, little double stag. Hands to heart center. Plant your right foot, lift your knees up. Turn towards the right. Switch to the front. Again, back through center. Keep the knees bent over to your left. Through center, pull those knees back to your right. One more time through center and left. Last one through center and right. Hands down, fold, compress the belly to the front leg. Send the left leg back, send the right leg back, plank pose, chaturanga, up dog, and down dog. Left leg goes high, bend the knee, take circles of your left leg, about three to four each direction. If you haven't, switch it. Straighten the left leg. Step the foot between the palms, skandasana over to the right. Hands to heart center. Now remember, you can do this with the hands down if you need to. So we're going to light that fire underneath the belly, underneath the pelvis. Everything lifts up very slowly. Rotate towards the back of the mat. Drop the knee down. Keep that right leg nice and straight. Pause here. Bring your hands down to the mat. Turn your left foot out to the left and start to twist to the right a bit. You will feel this in your outer hip, as well as getting that internal rotation into the left knee, excuse me, the left leg, left hip. So they bring it back to center, hands to heart, lift the chest, bend the knee, little low lunge, right into pigeon, right into our double 90 or double stag, hands to heart. Through center, flex the feet, plant the feet, pull the knees back, take it over to the left. Again, through center, to the right, through center, to the left, through center, to the right, center, to the left. Last time here, to the right, and to the left. Plant the hands, fold for just a moment over that front leg. Step it back to plank. 
Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Pause in your down dog just for a moment. Checking in with the body. We're doing a little external rotation too because it kind of comes hand in hand with internal. So just be here in this space, breathe here. Notice how your hips are feeling. Send the right leg up nice and high. Step the foot forward. Warrior one, rise on up. Take a breath in. Hands to heart, straighten the legs, pivot over to your left. I want you to really focus on pigeon toeing the feet. So feet in, heels out, lower down into your forward fold. Rise on up, take the arms high, keep those toes in. Hands to heart center, bring it to neutral now. Parallel the feet, rock the hips side to side. Lift your right heel up, turn your toes and your hips over to the left and bend the knee. Keep your left leg as it is. Bring it back up to center, rotate it down. Lift the left heel up, turn to the right, bend the left knee, just very gently, very small amount of bend. Bring it back up. Right heel up again, turn to the left, bend the knee. Back up to center, left heel up, turn to the right, bend the knee. And center last time, heel up, turn to the left, bend the knee. Back to center, left heel up, turn to the right, bend the knee, and to center. Crescent lunge to the top of the mat, adjust your legs completely. Plant the hands on the ground, tabletop with the knees and thighs touching and the feet wide. So knees and thighs together, feet wide. Booty back towards heels, reset shoulders over wrist. Back towards heels and reset. Two more times. Back towards heels, reset. Last one, back towards heels, reset, plank pose, tuck the toes, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left leg goes high, inhale. Step the foot forward, exhale. Warrior one, rise on up. Pause for just a moment. Hands to heart center, straighten out the leg. Pivot to the right. Walk your feet in. Bow a little wider than your hips. Turn your heels and toes out. We are gonna come into Malasana. Okay, so this Malasana, rock it side to side, get nice and comfortable. We're gonna be here for a moment. We're gonna work the internal uh, rotation by dropping one knee down towards the mat, touching it down, and then bringing it up. All in all, trying to keep our feet in the same spot as possible. I personally like to take a little bit of a wider stance for this one, um, cause I need to find that mobility in the hip. So if that's you, maybe you widen a little bit more, but try to keep the feet where they are. All right, so here we go. Dropping down one knee, you can start with whatever you knee you want. You're gonna rotate on the ball of the foot, drop the knee down, and then bring it back to where you started. Other side, lift the heel so you can rotate on the ball of the foot, drop the knee down, and back to where you started. Keep the belly pulled in, the inner thighs, booty active. So we're not dropping weight here, we're very engaged. We're dynamically working those hips. Drop it down, keep going. This next time, you're gonna drop it down and rotate the hips up and twist to the opposite side. So right now my right knee's down, I'm twisting to my left. Pause here, breathe, pull the belly in. So think of it as a modified low lunge. Bring it back through your malasana, other side. Lift up, drop down, twist. So my left knee is down, I'm twisting to my right. Again, unwind through malasana, lift up, drop the knee down, continue the twist, so we're spiraling the body. 
More fluid now, unwind, other side, drop it down, twist. Again, two more times each side. Take it as whatever pace you need. Definitely feeling the heat, definitely feeling a little sweat here. One more time each side. If you're done, perfect. Pause in the last and I will meet you there in a second. And if you're taking your time, that's good too. Ooh, straighten out the legs, forward fold. Ooh, shake those hips out. So that was working a little internal, a little external, a little all around. Rise up to star pose, take the arms high. Crescent lunge to the front of the mat. Plant the palms down, drop your right knee. Left knee meets it. Again, knees together, feet wide. Booty towards the heels, so it's an internal rotation of the hips for our child's pose, and then booty forward, shoulder stack. Again, booty back and forward, back and forward. Two more times, back, forward, back, forward. This time as you go back, you're gonna sit your booty towards the mat, lift your chest up. Focus on squeezing the inner thighs together, squeezing the knees together, feet stay wide. You can stay here. You can bring your hands down behind you. You can lower to your forearms or lower to your spine. We're here for about three or so rounds of breath. Enjoy it. If this is a challenge for you as it is for me, put a smile on your face because <laughs> we will get through it. Just a couple more cycles of breath here. If you're on your back or your forearms, come back to your palms. We'll all make our way to our hands. Take a moment to shake out the legs as needed. I personally like to straighten mine out one at a time. Downward facing dog. Make your way to the top of the mat. Step, walk, hop, or float. Halfway lift, lengthen. Forward fold. Rise up to stand, deep breath in. Hands to heart center. Squeeze the right heel to the bottom. Turn the toes out, knees in. Bend both knees. Keep your right foot turned out. Drop down, hand to the mat. Let the head drop heavy. Slide your right knee behind your left heel. Take a little seat, sit down, booty down onto heel. So I'm a little crisscrossed here. Pause, breathe. Bring your hands back to your heart center, shift your weight forward, float the right knee, right shin off the ground. Bring your knees now to touch, drop your knee, shin directly down, take a seat onto your heel, lean back. Left leg now, straightens out, booty to the ground, maybe foot moves out from under the body, again internal. Hands to mat, walk it forward, a little forward fold. Round it up the spine, hands to heart center. Can we get back to where we started? So can you, without using your hands, but if you need to use your hands, do. Slide that right heel under, bring the booty on top of the heel. Shift your weight forward, step your foot next to your left, both arms high. Hands to heart, left heel squeezes in. Bend your knees, bring them to touch, and kick that left heel out. Continue to bend your knees, go nice and low, maybe hands to the ground. Knees touch, left heels turning out to the side. Slide that left knee behind the right, slide it all the way down to tap down, hands to heart, take a seat. So we're a little crisscross right here. Right toes pointed forward, left knees out to the right diagonal. Hands can come down if you'd like, sit up nice and tall. Bring your hands back to heart center, shift all your weight into your right leg, float the left leg off the ground, float it up. Bring your knees to touch, and then lower the shin and knee directly down so you're parallel, sit the booty down to the ground. Lean back. Straighten out your right leg, lower the booty down. Take that left heel out from under the booty if it doesn't feel good there. Hands to the mat, 
fold forward. Three breaths here. So I make your way back up, lift the chest, hands to heart. Shift your weight back to your left heel to lift that booty up. Bend your right knee, plant your foot, step forward, up onto the left foot, hands high, inhale, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Open your feet, hip distance. Toes in, heels out, knees touch. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a hug around your spine. Let the booty drop nice and low, as low as is comfortable, but keeping the integrity of that internal rotation. Release the hands, drop the booty all the way down, let the knees come back to neutral, and lie down onto your back. Once on your back, little rock of the legs, like when we started our practice, side to side. Rock them over to the left, place that left ankle on the right knee, adjust your arms. Maybe you take your gaze towards the right. Maybe you simply close your eyes. Release the foot to the mat, bring your knees through center and over to the right, adjust the gaze. Right ankle to left thigh, second side, maybe you look to the left. Release it. Bring everything back to center. Hug the knees into the chest. Give them a tight squeeze. Happy baby pose just to release all that internal work we did with some last little bit of excellent rotation. If you'd like to rock side to side or straighten out the legs, do whatever feels good. Coming into butterfly, feet together, knees wide, so souped, supine bound angle pose. Pause here for a moment. Train out the legs for your final pose, Shavasana. If you tend to leave for this part, it's very short, so see if you can stay today. And I'll guide us out when it's time. Breathe movement back into the body.
Make your way up to seated. When seated, hands to heart, rub the palms, create some heat. Left hand on the heart, right hand on top of the left, bow the chin. Breathe. One more intentional breath in and out. Thank you everyone for joining me. Until next time. All right, thank you everyone for being here. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. If you have any questions, if you want to subscribe to the newsletter, if you want um, uh, the platform full of classes, over 200 classes, all levels, all styles, check the um, boxes below. I have all the links there for everything. And if you have any more future requests, please feel free to comment on the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all soon.